Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our poll and art of musicality. Um, in the description of the video, you will see that we have a link to the song by Niall Horan. Um, so it's a really good, it's got a really good beat. You can hear that playing in the background. Hopefully, I'm loud enough. Um, we're going to try and avoid Facebook copyright breaches by getting you to play the song um, for yourself afterwards. Now, most of the beat we're going for is a four count today. So we're going to start really simple and we're going to walk. We're going to do a two-step stripper walk, followed by the four count with the rest of our beats. You can see we have, I'm trying to make sure I point in the right direction, our dancers over here, we have Danielle and Hina. So our normal resident dancers and myself. Um, so we're going to leave the song going and then we're going to work on the beat with you. So listening to the beat at the moment, you can hear it in the background. And we're starting really simple. We're not doing anything that is an aerial move in this dance. This dance is all about making sure that we can feel the music and feel the beat. Um, it helps you with your flows, your movement, and finishing all of your routines. Um, and it's a really good aspect to have. So musicality is hard to find. Um, when we teach here in the studio, we use a song like this, um, and we get everyone to listen to the music with their eyes closed. So we're not gonna make you do that, because that's just really mean. Uh, what we're gonna do is teach you how we teach it. So we're gonna start with just our two-step walk. Hi Simon, yes we can see you. So we're using on a different um, device today. We're also using this on my laptop rather than on my normal Samsung. Um, so we've got a bigger screen and we can see some of your um, comments easier. So we're going to get straight into it and we're going to start with our walk. So we're going to wait for the beat and you'll hear me stopping and listening for the beat. So coming up, we're going to feel the beat from behind the pole. Step on the feet. You're tapping on the one, two. One, two, one, two. We're listening to the drum beat. Add the hands, and then on that beat, you slow it down with the one, one. So it's about moving with the beat. We can step it slow with a double bounce on the hip. Guys, they're starting to feel the beat there. Waiting on the lyrics. Now we're going to slide left. And we're going to walk. One, two. 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 Turn and one, two. Other way. We're adding in the hip. So you're rolling on the hip as you tap down. You're adding a sweep and sweep around. Keeping that two count on the beat. We're going to switch again and go again. Now if you miss the beat, do a double step and go in. You can alternate which way your hips go as long as you go in with that thing. Good, so that's our two step walk there. Now when we're doing things like, oh, <laughs> I have to crouch, sorry, crotch shot. <laughs> Okay, so we have to go through into a step around, which is our next move. So we're doing that with a three count, and a roll is our fourth count. So we go one, two, three, four, and on the fourth count, we're adding a hip roll. So without doing it with the music, I'm going to demonstrate the one, two, three count and the roll. No, I'm going to do it with the music because we can't let the music tell anyway. So we're going to get up, beat. And we go. One, two, three, roll. Roll. 
One, two, three, roll, roll. One, two, three, roll, roll. One, two, three, roll. Good. One, two, three, roll. Skip. One, two, three, roll. One, two, three, roll. One, two, three, roll. So I'll leave the girls doing their roll in the background. So you can see there with the roll, you're going with not only the backing beat of the track, but you can also slow it down for looks. So we listen to all aspects of the music and we try and isolate different parts. So I'm gonna get Hina to listen to the music <laughs> and I'm gonna get her to go with just the lyrics. So she's gonna slow down her count and her beat just to the lyrics. Danielle is gonna sit there and go with the drum beat. So that's the one, two, three, four count. So you'll see the different movements. So we'll count it all down. I'm gonna go through with the one, two, three, four beat. So you'll see three different move, movements from us, each doing different aspects of the song, and we're gonna do it with our step around. So coming in, we'll get our beat again. Guys, we're gonna wait for the lyrics again. And we're each gonna take our individual parts. So really getting that beat as we move through. I'm waiting on the lyrics. <laughs> and we're ready and we're gonna go slide, roll, and I'm stepping through. So see everyone on their feet. count roll for my step around. So now we're going to walk through the actual routine on how we're doing it. So we've started with our walk. Now our on the spot walk is the four count that we have there waiting on the lyrics. So starting with the music, music aspect, we're going to walk on the spot getting our rhythm. So that's where we get our hip sweeps as we do our eternal pole walk. We're then going to walk slow for our four count. Then we're going to step around twice. We're going into a backwards step around, and that's going to have a three count with the roll as well. We're doing that each side. We're then going for a big dip around slow on the lyrics. That comes into a rond de jambe, which goes into a rond de jambe roll. We wrap around the pole, rond de jambe, and then we're pirouetting behind the pole twice. We're then going to come into a back arch, with a kick into an attitude down. We're then going into cat, we're going into a kick over sweep. And then we're going into TikTok hips. And then we're going cat poses to a forward slide and bouncing up and repeating the whole process again. This is about making sure we can get it. So hi Sarah, yes. Thank you very much. The pants are amazing. So, we're going to get into the beat, I'm going to get the song ready at the end, and we're going to go right through from the count, and then we're going to break it down again for you. So, the girls will keep dancing while we do that. So, we're coming into the end of the song. If you want to cue it up for yourself to listen, feel free to cue. We're standing here and we go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Slide. One, two, three, four. Turn. One, two, three, four. Turn, step around. Roll, step around. Roll. Backwards. Backwards. Dip. Dip. And then we run it on under. Wrap. Left. 
Ah, so run to show. Pirouettes. Pirouettes. Arch. Sit and and two. And down we go, we go. Check, check. Over, sweep, roll, upside up. Roll, down. Sweep, up. Roll, and we go. Cat, roll, roll. Down, up with the hips. One, two, three, four, up. Roll, and we bounce. Tap and walk. Two, three, four, switch. One, two, three, four, stick. Roll, stick. Backwards. Backwards. Dip. Dip. Run the jump. Wrap, down, up for the roll, pirouette, the one's off, sorry, pirouette, pirouette, turn for an arch, attitude, kick it over, forward, Sweep it back. Up. Cat. Bounce. Take a step around the wall. Switch and turn. And finish. All right. <laughs> awesome. So. Uh, we're going to angle the camera down so we can make the floor visible in this one here. So, here we go down. So you can see what we're doing with our hips. So we're going to worry about what our feet are doing and what our hips are doing on the floor. So, we can see the girls there. Brilliant. So it's going to give you an idea of what the hips are doing and what we're doing on the floor in this aspect now that we're worried about the hips, so now we're going to walk, walk through on our feet. So we'll take the music back and we'll do the count again. <laughs> All right, and back we go. So we go one, two, Three, four, one, two, three, four, slide, walk, one, tap, two, tap, three, tap, four, tap, one, tap, two, tap, three, tap, four, tap, step around, roll, step, backwards. Backwards. Dip. Dip. Glide. We're going run to jump. Wrap. Down. Up. Roll it through. Run to jump again. Glide. We're going into our back arch. And shoot it up. Down to the floor. Over. Tap. Sweep. Tap. Push. Roll forward. Outside bend. Sweep. Up. Through. Cat. Roll. Down. Take the top hips. And then we go up. Bounce and push it through. Tap on that beat. Three, four, switch. One, 
two, three, four, ten, same round, same round, backwards, backwards, dip, really drop it on that thing, dip, run the jump out, Step and wrap, down, up, roll. So run the jump again. Step and arch. Attitude. Kick over. Tap, tap, over, up. Roll, forwards, outside leg bend, sweep. Up, roll, cap, forward, bring the hips up, and one, two, three, four, push, roll, bounce, up, one, two, three, stop. Good! Alright, so that's showing you what we're doing on the hips. So now we need to roll through some of the things that we might have confusion on. So I'm just going to <laughs> move to the side and read any comments that we need to. Um, all right, so we're going to go through that little kick over that we have um, and a kick over with going rolling up. So it's all about the slowness of the kick and going on the beat. So we're all going to come down to the floor for you. As if we've come in from attitude legs. So we have one leg in front, one leg is arched behind. Now when we go down, we're going to go down with the arm that's behind. So the high hand or your dominant hand will be on the top and the other hand is on the bottom. We take off the low hand as we come back and we slide down to the floor as we kick the leg up. That leg goes over and taps the floor away from the body. We slide down with our hands as we sweep around, sweep, bend, over. We bend the outside as we push up. We slide through a pin up, then we slide forwards in a forward slide. We bend the outside leg. We fan again and we roll over. Tap, fan, fan, up. Inside leg bends as we push up. Guys, then we roll into our cat position. So we go up into our cat. We go angry cat, happy cat, roll, and then we go down. Slide down, inside leg bent. Knees go straight and the hips come off the floor. We wait on the beat and we go tap, 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 back. We do a little roll as we come up and we bounce to side step. So we put our hands down, bounce, and we push through the body. Guys, so. That's how we do our attitude down with our rollover kick, what we refer to as our rollover kick. The cat poses are generally pretty normal, so are your forwards body slides. The one that we've got in there is our rond de jambe from a wraparound. So that rond de jambe from a wraparound, it's a rond de jambe leg, but we're taking a back sweep behind from our wraparound pose. So it may be, names may be different for your country, studio. So what we're going to do is we're just going to demonstrate it as the movement. So coming in with the movement, you have your leg wrapped around the pole. Same hand as wrapped leg is holding onto the pole. Elbows into the ribs. We go forwards into what we call lift pose. We touch the foot, arching the butt up. We slide up the leg through the inside of the hip, and as we touch the chest, we roll, roll. 
that low hand comes down, thumb down, palm towards your face, into the knee space. We then take the hand up and twist the grip up as we open, extend back, and we're just dragging the body around. We drag and step up. So it's a very slow movement without much ear time. You can do it with, depending on your strength, you can do it with more of a sweep and a float. And it's all about the speed with which you dismount. So the dismount is the important aspect. So the dismount we want to step off quite slow and finish with the hip roll, especially with a song like this where we're dealing with the movement. So we come down, twist that grip, step around, tap, push, tap and sweep. Guys, let's try that again. We've got heaters on, so it's a little bit warm in here, and if you can't tell by the sun, we're starting to experience spring in New Zealand. <laughs> They're very excited about sun, summer. Okay, here we go. Drop it down, roll it through, sweep it back, <laughs> and roll it up. If you're really lucky, you'll high five someone with your foot. <laughs> Try not to when you've got long limbs. So, again, now we'll take this with a little bit of ear time if you've got it. We drop it down and we go. Tuck, sweep it up. Good. So the dip around that we do as well. So the dip around we do, we do with a bit of a stall. So it's like how step around, but we take our leg over. We go over, shift the weight to the foot. We come up. Bring the leg up, fall, and step up. So ideally you want to add it with the big sweeps. So we step, dip, and sweep. Good. So try that again, we're going to go on the feet with that dip around. Three, two, one. Oh, we missed the beat. <laughs> Dip, pop, dip, dip, one, two, three, step, one, two, three. Now we pick it up and we go, tap, two, three, four, step. One, two, three, four, step, tap. One, two, three, four, step. One, two, guys. One more. Fantastic. So the walk around when we do our walk around. So the walk around getting our feet. We want to make sure that we're doing it nice and slow and we're stepping on the beat, what I refer to. <laughs> this is the first move I learned when I first danced to a strip club, was the trip, stripper two step. So, <laughs> it might be different wherever you go, but what I've done with it is I've turned it into a beat counter for me. So we're taking our step, we start with the inside. Get our beat back. One, tap, two, tap, three, tap, four, tap. One, tap, two, tap, three, tap, four, tap. One, tap, three, tap, four, tap. One, tap, two, tap, three, tap. And then we start to swing the hips, rolling through. Arms, etc. Turn. Good. See Danielle keeps her feet on her hip, and she's going round. I keep my feet with my hands. 
I roll them out. Hannah does hers through her arms and her head as she moves around. So it's whatever works for you with keeping that beat count for you. You see the girls are still going in the background on it, which is absolutely fantastic. The backward switch is what we call a V. So we do it in a V shape. So we go behind the pole and turn step forward. So that there, we're gonna do now for you as well. All right, so we're gonna get our rhythm out. We're gonna get our rhythm in. Coming to the end of the song. One, two, three, four. Seven, eight, we're side left. Tap, step, cross, back, swivel, forwards. Step, back, cross, swivel, forwards. Back, cross, swivel, forwards. Back, cross, swivel, forwards. Go. So when we're doing that step, it's all about the movement behind. So you kind of come forward and step back. So the girls still doing in the background while I focus on showing you the backwards movement. Back, swivel, step, forward. Back, cross, swivel, forward. Good. So then we can get back to the beat with the girls. I'm going to go through some of our movements here. I'm going to read the comments. Um, so I'll sit here slightly while you can enjoy the girls watching in the back. And I'll go back through some of these comments so we can say anything. Um, hi, Julie. Nice to see you again. Missy Taryn. I can see your comment there. I can't see the previous comment, though, so I'll come back to it after we finish this poll. In it. If you have any questions now, now is the perfect time to ask me, um, so you can enjoy the girls there. They're just getting down to their floor movements. Um, so if you want to interact with us now, ask us any questions, um, talk to us about anything, you're more than welcome to. If any of the movements don't make sense to you, you can give us a message and contact us. Um, hopefully you can see in the links on the description page of this, you can see the link to the song. Um, so if you want to repost the video of you doing it for us, adding your own twist on it, inspired by us, we're absolutely happy to see that. We get the musician, big things for, for copyrights, etc. As long as you're doing the right crediting, we're all on there. Um, and if you want to tag us in it, feel free to tag us. We've got a couple of hashtags you can use. So we've got our hashtag, Circo Stunners. So I'm going to write that down for you in our comment section. And I'm just trying to see it there where I can add my comments. Oh, no, that wasn't adding comments. I'm trying to see it. Oh, no, I can't see with light. Ah, oh, here we go. I think I've got it. Oh, no, trying to see. Ah. Oh. 
Okay, what I'll do is afterwards, I'll write in the hashtags for you to use to share with us. Um, and if you have an idea of any more polarizers you want us to run, we're totally okay with that. Um, we use Fridays as our study day because all three of us are study, studying full time. Um, so we have Fridays in the studio, having lunch, studying, and ready to go with these polinars. Um, musicality is something that we wanted to teach you today just because it's something we've been working on in the studio. Um, people quite enjoy my musicality. I've never thought I moved that well, but everyone seems to say that I do it. So <laughs> why not teach what we, what we can? So we might just come into the background and have a little bit of our own dance out while you guys all enjoy it and we're going to bust out some tricks and just dance ourselves with our musicality. So thank you all again. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed the Polina. Leave us any comments that you want to. We'll come back to them after. Either Danielle, Hermieta or myself will respond to you. Um, and we're going to enjoy a bit of dance time before we have to start uh, hitting our books for study. So thank you all so very much. And see you later. See you later, everybody. Bye.